Hey everyone, I'm Michael. And I'm Justin, and welcome to Prego Italia, living our Italian dream. We're expats from California, living now full-time in beautiful Scalia, Italy. And we have a nice sunny day today. Still a little chilly, but sunny, so you know that's good. I uh, could actually take the jacket off, but <laughs> I got used to it, so it's actually pleasant. Yes, it was a little rainy this morning. The sun came out. It's uh, coming up at like 2.30 in the afternoon, so it's beautiful and warm and I'm still cozy, so I'm gonna leave it. So. <laughs> so one thing that I did want to say, because we did get a note um, about the sunglasses. Oh, yes. So I'm gonna just address why I'm wearing mine, then he'll address why he's wearing his. I actually have uh, prescription glasses. You guys know that, you've seen me wearing glasses. So when it gets um, really sunny, my eyes can't handle it. So these are prescription sunglasses that I wear to keep myself from going blind. <laughs> We've actually, yes, I want to apologize if anybody has a fence that I wear glasses a lot. I, it is sunny in Italy, yes. Um, well, sometimes quite <laughs> rainy, but I do wear my glasses. I have a, a prescription medication. It makes my eyes very sensitive to light. So it just makes it easier for me when I'm doing the video so I don't sit there and have watery eyes. Because otherwise we'd be looking at you like, well, I don't want to be squinting, watery eyes, looking like I lost a contact. You know, my, so, and that just would not be good. Or, or my false <laughs> eyelash fell off. <laughs> so... Anyway, I'll be like, oh, where'd it go? But so, anyway, so. Sensitive eyes. Yes. Prescriptions. And sunglasses, bisogno. <laughs> and we don't mean to offend anyone thinking we're being all that like divas wearing our glasses. I mean, we are. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, there's a reason it makes us more comfortable. So since it was asked, we thought we'd address. But anyway, to the important topic today is a spontaneous video. One of our very kind viewers, um, Vincent, had been asking me back and forth a lot of questions on uh driver's license, how you get it, the residency, Ooh, boy. <laughs> and all these different questions. So I thought I would just go ahead and officially do it on a video because if he asked, then someone else on the channel might find it of interest. Uh, first of all, um, he, he had mentioned that wanting to know the best uh, way, I guess, get to Scalia if they have rental car agencies here. Yes, they do. It would be very hard to probably find an automatic. Um, oops, <laughs> pardon the background noise. <laughs> but um, my question was if you are to him was if he's flying out of Rome and he is that that would be the most logical and most affordable way to rent a car in Rome. Um, great rates. You can get them ahead of time before leaving in the United States. Highly suggested. And I suggest definitely driving. get them before you leave yes. the United States. Do yeah. not wait until you get here because <laughs> that might create a problem you yes. are not prepared for. <laughs> yes, there's tons of agencies, all the big ones that you know in the U.S., Hertz, the, the whole the whole batch of them. They're all here and numerous ones that you haven't heard of. So check online, find your best deal, and you can pre-book your automatic. So highly suggested on that one. And um, actually do it well in advance and yes. everything with the way the world is right now with bookings. Um, and I, I, well, hold on. I know when his mom came and mm -hmm. visited, we actually did a rental car and I know that we did it ages in advance. And yes. even then there were some little hiccups. Yeah. They were easy to get over, but do not wait until the last minute. My mm -hmm. suggestion, and I'm sure his would be the same as the moment that you book your airline tickets, book your car rental. Yeah, with the package. Do it. And then th that actually brings up a different topic. There used to be a, a faster airline. Uh, connection through Delta flights. They had um, Italia Air um, coming in La Masia, but that they haven't really, I don't <laughs> think, adjusted that after they went out of business at Italia. So uh, I, we stick with Rome. We returned mom home in Rome. The drive was fantastic. It was mm -hmm. only f just under four and a half hours on the expressway. Plenty of gas stations, auto grill, little food stops. It went, it was a breeze. It was quite a beautiful uh, drive too. Yes, it was. So <laughs> very quick, very fast, very good speed. Um, and it went in the blink of an eye. So that's that's our suggested route to come into Rome, find your best deals on flights, and get your rental car there, drive down to beautiful Scalia area, and that way you can have the same car to explore all the towns nearby. It's That's the wisest in our opinion. And if you're returning back out of Rome, it makes most sense as well. Okay? And then, um, so that's definitely the answer for Vincent, and hopefully others find that. There is a speed train that you can take back and forth, you know, uh, from Rome, but... Uh, my suggestion is why would you want to do that limit your rental cars here and stuff right. so then you can just take care of all of it in one convenient whack up in Rome. Now for a kind viewer Vincent's other question that probably is very important For your to viewing pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it is about buying a car. We've actually been asked a few <laughs> times and I've communicated in comments. So it is definitely worthy of its own video here. Um, 
to purchase a car, you must, if you're, you know, wanting to buy a car, you can't just get here and like, oh, I'm just going to get it and park it. It is not as simple no, as it's buying not a as house. Simple as, <laughs> yes, uh, buying a home is relatively easy. Purchasing a car, lots of restrictions. You have to be a officially registered um, resident. So you need your plastic card. I'll go ahead and cover my numbers on it, which is this. Don't try to do it without. It was very difficult. I actually tried to do it without the plastic card in hand, with the paperwork, um, just, you know, everything here without the actual physical plastic card is a headache. You would think yes. you would just bring the printed documentation. And let no, me just no. say, getting the plastic card in and of itself, <laughs> a headache. Well, everything is piano, piano <laughs> here with the bureaucracy and stuff, and that's just to be expected. And we must understand we're in a foreign land and we follow the rules here and we can't expect, oh, here's how it's done where I'm from. And you just respect. And once you get the plastic card, there you go. And yes. the suggestion, if you wonder how you get residency, that's different for everyone. Mine particular situation is through my dual citizenship availability through bloodline. So I have a different form of residency and also enabling Michael to right. stay as my spouse. Everyone has a different situation. So you'll need to check your requirements. And we will actually be doing a video in the mm -hmm. uh, upcoming days or weeks shortly with a um, friend of ours, Nelson, yes. who will explain that subject further. So we're yes. not just going to leave you all in limbo <laughs> about that. Nelson is a great, has become a great friend of ours and and he also um, assists a lot of expats in their um, seeking residency and assisting them uh, on arrivals as expats and, and, and concierge services, etc. Yes. So uh, we'll have a full video coming up very soon with Nelson on that. So stay tuned and look forward to that. Uh, but meanwhile, for purchasing a car, as mentioned, you must possess this once you have this in hand and you can go purchase a car. They're readily available. I actually purchased mine up in Naples because I was seeking a particular model. I wanted the Mercedes in um, automatic version. And Mercedes Queen. Yes, yes, well, it's a favorite brand. Actually, um, I guess I'll be honest, Mercedes uh, here isn't like, a, I guess the, I don't know, to me, it doesn't have the, I guess the status symbol uh, label that it does in the US. They have a lot of um, A and a B model here. And we have the B that aren't even available, I believe, in you know, um, United States. Um, so they're just another car here. Probably a more coveted might be a Ford Escort, for all you know, <laughs> as funny as it is. Um, but that is funny. But they're, they're plentiful around here. Fords are very popular, we see. But um, I have a particular model, which I'm familiar with. I enjoy my Mercedes brand, and I like the B model. It was perfect. It fits Michael's Walker yes, perfectly, perfectly in the back. Luggage and room for our guests and such. So that was the one I wanted. I searched Ty Low for it. I could have found a manual version locally, but automatics are very um, difficult to find in the Clawberry area. You can find them, but they might also might be a little pricier. Right. So I found actually, shockingly, going up to a larger area, had a, a you know a larger supply and demand available. So I was able to get that there. And also that's another subject. You have to be very careful going in to dealerships, just like in the US, I'm, I'm the, the used car salesman thing. They're everywhere. It They're everywhere. Matter. It doesn't matter what country you're in, just, oh, brother. But that's its own thing. So I ended up, um, you know, I got the car I wanted. I had to do some improvements after, but it turned out fine. And I got it just the way I wanted it to be um, on our own. But to purchase, you have the plastic residency card. You purchase the car. Uh, they actually insure it. You have to have it insured. Um, our very lovely friend Nelson helped us assist with that. So you have to have the insurance lined up at the time of purchase because you cannot leave the lot. Um, without the insurance, right. much like the United States. And um, so that you can have with your insurance, with your residency permit as well, you can get the car insured. And I guess roughly if people want prices, I think I'm about 600 euros for six months. And that, that wasn't crazy. But I will say, and then um, we'll move on to the next little part here. Our friend Nelson did say that the longer you drive the insurance here, yes. it's on tiers. Tiers. So. so if you go without an accident, your insurance, the Eventually price will down. get lower. So that's, so that's the big expected coming on in, you know, as a quote unquote foreigner residency. Um, so uh, we have the vehicle that's made life very easy. We had a good three months beforehand. We were without a car and boy, that was its own yes. <laughs> joy. But um, to make a long story short, yes, you need the residency perm, your card to purchase and insure. You must go to AAA and purchase for $20 plus the photograph you would get your um, international driving permit booklet. 
you don't need to take a test or anything. They do put a passport photo in that's all handled. It's just sitting at the desk of uh, AAA. They fill that out for you and that is a must, even for a rental car, technically. You just don't make yourself <laughs> cutting any corners thinking you can get away with it if you heard friends. It's just, I've heard a lot of people getting fines without this simple little booklet. So it's a necessity, get your international driving permit and that is available through AAA services in the US. You don't have to be a AAA member for that. That's one of the things that they do offer right. without being a AAA member. Or you can just walk in and, and they do um, honor getting you that and taking care of for you very simply and quickly. And, like and Justin, it's a must, even for a rental car. Right, and like Justin had said, just uh, don't risk it. I know yeah. that we know we've heard a lot of people, oh, well, we've come over and we didn't get one of those and we rented and everything was fine. Don't risk it. Because we've heard the people moment... with huge fines getting stopped for something and they don't have this simple little cardboard, you know, paper book here that for $20 could have saved them a huge <laughs> headache. Speaking of, when you have your purchase with your residency permit, you can drive on your um, foreign driver's license for one year. And within that year, you need to get a, an Italian driver's license. And yes, you need to learn Italian enough to pass the test. Dun, dun, dun. Oh boy, and I think I have nine months to go on mine. And we all know how I slaughter, but I'm one of those procrastinators. So I'll be cracking down on that soon enough. But um, I've told him after the holidays, him and I will be hitting Rosetta Stone on a daily basis. Definitely. Um, so there's that. <laughs> so to recap, yes. Um, as Vincent and I spoke of back and forth in communication here in the comment section on the previous video. I'll go ahead and put it in short for you here. Yes, you can purchase a vehicle if you are legally a resident with your plastic residency card in hand. You can go to a dealer, you can purchase, and you insure through the same day to take away and drive off, you must have your insurance. And car prices are not shockingly crazy high. They're they're pretty affordable. Right. So. And one thing Fair I did cars. want to say about um, the, the, the residency card and all of that, and it does actually fit into this video nicely, is Justin had said that you do have to learn the language. That is another thing that is um, going to be test addressed to pass about list. right here. Um, you need, so they do offer free language classes in Italy. With a residency but permit. You need the residency card. <laughs> you need that class. plastic card to attend the class. Justin and I tried to attend it before we got that card, and we were basically told, nope, come back when you have the yeah, card. It's free for the expats. Unfortunately, if you're a it was too late for us to get involved. But if you are planning on taking one of those classes, uh, understand that once again, you're going to need that plastic residency card. Mm -hmm. That residency card is like a club card of Italy. It, gets it is. It's everywhere. scanned when you purchase, <laughs> as mentioned, the Codici. Fiscale is the number. It's a similar. Um, you can get it even as a tourist. You don't have to be a resident. Um, if you want to purchase a home, you must have a Codici Fiscale. You can get it relatively easy at an office when you come down uh, one of the regional offices in person with your passport. My mom got hers. Um, it was easy. We had uh, done ours while away through a uh, power of attorney having someone else get it for us. So there are ways around getting it. Um, it it's not too um, you know, hard to do and just about getting an appointment and such. But the Codici Fiscale is very important because even buying, you know, anything larger ticket items at the stores, uh, air conditioner, electronics, or obviously automobile. Right. So there'll be actual stores when you're buying a larger ticket item that asks for that number. At but electronic for, stores and stuff. For a lot of the things, once again, you are going to mm -hmm. need the plastic residency yes, card. Yes, and your Codici Fiscale is included and embedded in this. A lot of times the stores will just scan it and that'll have everything about you, even when Michael... Um, your card was used when you got your um, your vaccine shot, correct? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. that's actually really cool. Yep, and um, everything scanned in through the government, um, knowing you know what shot update you're up to and everything. So it's a very handy card that carries with you, and 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 pretty much it's just it's good as gold here. So yep. you definitely look forward to that. You can buy a vehicle with it, rest assured, and your insurance is with that card, and that is you cannot drive away off without being insured. So that is done at the same time. Have your insurance set up ahead of time, you know, so it all lines up. Uh, pretty much in the US, you have to do that anyway, call right. your insurance. And so that's very similar. Please go to AAA, get your little booklet here. You don't have to take a test, just walk in. They'll take passport photos. The fee is uh, 20 for the book and whatever additional for the little passport photos. So that's a must as well. Um, good luck on that. And if our suggestion, once again, for convenience, Michael, is Rome, rent right. your car ahead of time, book it, book yourself an automatic if that's your preference and um and enjoy all of italy italy relatively i believe geographically is the size of the state of arizona so there's no reason to think that you can't just enjoy road tripping all over yes but, you know 
it's very it's um all things considered it's very small but it's yes. it's so um different in its locations you know and what you can see so it yeah. is beautiful if you if, um yeah if you've ever done a u.s road trip across you know new york to la or something then hello you've passed through how many relatively large states so that's just one, one thing, place Enjoy one thing we to wanted tell. to say before we end today's video um it's a little shorter than our normal videos but one thing we did want to say is um we realize it's been a while since we updated you on the uh villa and the oh work boy. going on piano, there piano. and the reason why is because at this point there is no work going yes. on there <laughs> no i have hopefully we're still waiting on the painter you know we know who we'd like to use so it's already been there it's a sunny day i think we have quite a few ahead but it's very hard to line people up when especially now since we're coming all them. upon um the christmas. holiday season christmas natale mm -hmm. a lot of people aren't wanting to work um well or they're, they're, their, they're, they're starting vacation i'm well, sure they exactly want to work. they well i mean they want their vacation i think more. they're booked <laughs> up i think it is is when the so many gaps of rainy days and then the sunny everybody's pre-booked and crazy stuff like that and whatever there so you have to be patient but as they say rome wasn't built in a day and apparently neither was the villa in scalia exactly. <laughs> well hopefully this week we have an electrician coming over and we can get a lot done with that including heat and air and such so we'll keep you posted on that and hopefully this video will tide you over with some helpful information thank you very much if for not time. it will hopefully at least tide you over with a little bit more of us okay so, <laughs> thank you please hit like and subscribe please we'll see you guys next Nachi, time Nachi. bye Hey everyone, so we have exciting news. We are now on Patreon and you can find the link to that right here below. There will be the info for you to find us, Patreon. We actually, in advance, want to thank you very much for your patronage. Thank um, you. Your support will enable us to grow this channel to where we hope it gets to be and also enable us to travel throughout Italy and share many more experiences with you. So thank you in advance. Baci, baci. Baci.